welcome to Automotive Technology. I'm Mr. Parmley and I'm going to take you on a tour today. I work for Sheridan Public Schools and our automotive program is located here at Arapahoe Community College. You'll see here on the lot today we've got a lot of nice shiny new vehicles as corporate donations for students to work on and we have an awesome shop to show you too. So we're going to head on the building now and I'd like to share some precautions with you. If you do come over for an in-person tour you've got to have a mask on. And you're going to find, too, that our students, just like you, uh, have some entry requirements. You're going to have to scan the QR code before I can even let you in our door. For automotive, we have one door in, one door out. Come on in. And I already had my temperature checked and did that this morning. But Eddie here, thank you, Eddie, for your help today. He's going to just make sure I'm good to go as I'm coming back in the building. And uh, he's usually in the tool room or here. You're going to find Eddie in a couple of different places. So for high school students, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna head right into the classroom here. And here we are. So our classroom is set up for 12 students. In years past, I had classes of around 25 plus students uh, with COVID protocol in place, keeping everybody safe, social distancing, the masks on. We now have classes often outside, garage doors open. We use the exhaust system in the shop to pull all the air out. And we're not in the classroom very often. Um, but I do want to point out a couple of things here. Um, first off, we have our DOL on the board. That's for demonstration and learning. I'm going to show you out in the shop a couple of things that students are currently doing. They have a, a packet that we're working on that coincides with that. But I also want to show you our program brochure. Uh, this is available in your high school counseling department currently. Um, on there you're going to see... Um, our class times actually on this fold out over on this part of it here that are available. Keep in mind with the hybrid schedule, we are in person um, two days a week so that we can give you some online training in order to reduce the class sizes. At least that's how it's been this school year so far. We've been successful with in-person uh, learning since August. Um, also, you're going to see under the first year list in the brochure all the things we're going to be covering throughout the school year. That equates to maintenance and light repair. At the end of this year, your very first year as a student here at ACC through Sheridan High School, you're able to get a certificate in maintenance and light repair on top of your high school credit earned for your transcript and college credit through concurrent enrollment. Um, if you wanna take a look here at my brochure, you can pause it if you need to. There's my phone number, my email, if you have specific questions that I can help you with. We'll talk about how to enroll here in just a little bit. So let's head out in the shop and show you around. You're gonna see some vehicles over here labeled A5. That's our current stations we're working on. As you head up in the front of the shop here, you're gonna see all kinds of engines and transmissions and components, different classes that are being taught are currently using them. In fact, I've got an advanced class now that's in the process of building a big black Chevy that's covered up. And all the yellow toolboxes you see are used by our high school students. So they're specific for, for you all to be using. Um, we do clean everything between each class. A lot of time is spent cleaning this year for obvious reasons, to keep everybody safe. In our computer lab, you can see that you have an option here to sign in, but we don't really use these computers too much this year. Everything that you often need is available on your cell phone. We make that available for you, so you don't have to touch all these computers. Over here, though, we have a much bigger shop, you'll see. So these are different projects from different classes that are currently being taught. You can see that uh, we've got some different specialty equipment over here. And our alignment machines are those big, tall, red posts sticking up. We're set up to do three alignments here at any time at the same time, which makes learning a lot of fun. We're also set up over here with the latest and greatest in tire changers, tire balancers, uh, jet wash machines for engine belts, and so forth. And I've got to show you what we got on back here, too. We have a whole bunch of vehicles. So at a glance, it almost looks like the, the parking lot for the college, but it's not. Believe it or not, all these vehicles that you see as I get just over here a little ways, Starting off with the Honda, we've got uh, Challenger and all the vehicles out here. These are corporate donations. And these are cars that are donated from different manufacturers for student training. 
when they're done with high school, if they want to continue at the post-secondary level, they can take specific pathways. Now, you maybe noticed the Camaro over there, and you went, wait a minute. Why is there a 68 Camaro? Well, that's our school race car. Yeah, we do have a motorsports club for post-secondary students. They get to race that car at the drag strip. Again, that's post high school, and uh, that'll be something that uh, post COVID we get to do a little bit more with. So that's just another fun opportunity. The car was actually put together by high school students in an advanced class that I taught uh, a couple of years ago. So we're gonna head back into the shop. And I know this tour is a little quick, so if you want to schedule an in-person tour, we can do that. We're very limited this year to do so. Um, I would have to have pre, you know, notice ahead of time. Um, I cannot do big groups. It would be very small groups, to say the least. And I want to give you a, a good taste of the program here, obviously, in the video, so you can make a decision. I do recommend talking to your high school counselor much sooner than later, though. Um, even this year, with uh, the changes in COVID and the smaller class sizes, we were fully booked. By the time our school year started in August, I was at full capacity with 12 students in each class. So I recommend, again, talking to your high school counselor about registration sooner than later. One of the key places in our shop I just can't help but show you is right over here. In our trophy cabinet, you're gonna see we are, we're awarded School of the Year back a couple of years ago now. I believe that was uh, right around 2012. Yeah, and that was cool because that was not just an award for Colorado or Littleton, but that was a national award. And ever since we obtained that kind of recognition, it has made it a lot easier to get corporate donation vehicles and cars. Also behind us is the job board. So right now, the economy is not so great in some cases for jobs. These are active dealerships that are locally looking to hire our students right out of high school in some cases. In fact, this past year, I was able to place over 20 students in local independent uh, shops and new car dealerships, even though uh, a lot of places were having hiring, uh, hiring freezes. We didn't see that here in the automotive industry. So, Take a look at the shop. Is this something that you might want to do? Would you want to come down here and play around on the Corvette? I think you would. It's a lot of fun down here in the automotive department. Um, the key thing is to know I do take uh, priority of seniors first and then juniors. That way, if you are a senior coming up, you have first choice, giving you a chance to do this while you're still in high school. Um, also, it's important to realize that if you have uh, if you're attending a Littleton Public School, if you're attending an Inglewood Public School, and of course Sheridan, if you're at Sheridan High School, if your grades are up and you're doing well, there's a very good chance that your counselor can help you get here and really not spend any money out of pocket at all, other than student fees, which are very minimal. They're $50 for the whole year. But if you do not attend one of those school districts, uh, you will be looking at self-pay, um, out of pocket. So keep that in mind. If you have specific questions about that, please contact me. You've got my telephone number on the brochure, which once, once again is 303-797-5848. And my email is roberts.parmley at arapaho.edu. I hope to see you soon. Take care.